Maybe you've traveled on a yacht or ship before, but have you ever taken a high-speed rail on the sea? Now let's take a look at China's first sea-crossing high-speed railway. Track laying work on the country's first sea-crossing high-speed railway was completed on Tuesday morning in East China's Fujian Province. The 277 kilometers railway links Fuzhou, the provincial capital, with Xiamen, a poor city. With a design speed of 350 kilometers per hour and eight stations along the route, it's expected to slash the travel time between the two cities to just one hour. The line will have eight stations and will cross over three bays in the coastal province: Meizhou Bay, Quanzhou Bay, and Anhai Bay. Complex conditions on the sea made it very challenging for construction. Bridges and tracks are exposed to a high risk of damage by seawater, high humidity, and storms. So, how could the quality and safety be ensured? Let's hear what engineers have to say. In the construction process. 在梅州湾大桥所处的梅州湾，常年风力大于六级，就是每天的潮汐啊，就是落差最大到六七米左右，影响我们的呃装机施工。呃，但是我们在过程中、呃、采用了新技术、新方法，在地理环境制约的情况下，第一次使用了千吨架桥机。我们的桥墩也采用了呃新型的呃防腐材料进行涂刷，还有我们自行研制的四十米的移动模架。啊，也是国内首创。泉州湾跨海大桥是整个福厦高铁的全线控制性工程，然后我们整个大桥在建设过程当中确实面临很多困难，一个就是台风、季风影响，整个大桥在设计过程当中对整个结构也进行了一个空洞实验，所以在整个呃后期的运营过程当中，能够保证在不设这个风屏障的条件下，就是八级大风条件下。能够正常通行，十一级大风条件下就是不封闭这个交通。Not only new materials and new equipment, but the intelligent construction of Fuzhou Xiamen High Speed Railway also has been in the limelight, such as the application of beam technology in informatization and visualization construction. The entire project is expected to be completed in 2023. With advanced technology and machinery, the Fuzhou Xiamen Railway will become a new addition to the national high-speed rail network.